How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Luis, how are you? I am fine, teacher. Thanks. Good evening. Okay, that's good. I'm going to share you my screen, right? Let me know when you can see. Can see my screen now? Yes. Okay. Uh, in this slide, you can see different picture, especially by picture. Um, I I had a question for Angie. What do you think means the image? Post on the left side, especially in the corner, on the top corner, on the left side. Well, um, the picture that said your height, this is when you get a new job, I think. Yeah. Uh, you are mentioning about the picture low and in the left corner low or up in the left in the right sorry no no my question is about if you can uh, tell me what does mean the image post on the left side, especially in the top, on the top of the left side? Coming, we're hiding? Yeah. Uh, what do you think means this message? Uh, how do you say mm, entrevistas? <laughs> yes, yeah, that. Inter Interview? Interview. Interview. Yes. I think coming we're hiring means that you you have to go to that place and they you, there you have an interview to 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 be able to have a new job. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's associated with that. This means the company maybe a hotel or other kinds uh, of company is looking for people, yeah, in order to job in the company. It means coming, coming in with your hiring is, is that. Are you explaining and I explain you? Yeah. Um, in Spanish is a contratando. Yeah. Means we were hiring. Nosotros estamos contratando. Venga. <laughs> Come in, quiere decir venga. Nosotros estamos contratando. It means uh, in Spanish. Okay, thank you. Uh, Luis, could you uh, say me, told me, sorry, or could you describe that you see on the picture was on the left side? on the right side, sorry, on the right side, especially on the top, from the corner of the top, on the, left side, on the right side. Okay, teacher, the post said uh, you are hiring. 
Yes, uh, big when you when you have a new job, uh, when you when the the director of I don't know maybe the people who 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 yes. make the interview uh, decide uh, hire, hiring hiring to you uh, to uh, to work. That you are hired. You are hired. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Your hired means the person get a new job. Get a new job. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, what do you think about the the picture pots below the on the right side? Below, okay, below uh, uh, maybe the the director or or the people who who is making the the interview is explaining about the job about about the the I don't know how to say contrato the condition of the con of the of the contract the condition mm -hmm. of the contract maybe he is planning uh, he's uh, yes yeah, explaining uh, the contract. the contract the condition mm -hmm. all about the, the, the new job mm -hmm. the agreements yeah maybe is explain about the agreements associated with the contract okay. with the contract mm -hmm. yes okay mm. Angie what do you think about the picture post teacher the uh, Jonathan is Yes, <laughs> Jonathan is here. Okay. In the Hello. Is in the chat or is connect? On the calls. He's connect. Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, Jonathan, could you see my screen? Can you see my screen? Okay, Jonathan. Uh, based on this slide, I would like to know oh, why. Remember that the next Thursday, you need to do, or you need to use a good microphone because is the exam is the speaking exam. This next Thursday. For the reason each student needs to use a good computer or laptop and good connection, good um, microphone. Teacher, the, the exam is just, uh, just going to be the, the, the Tuesday. I can make the, the exam uh, a little other day because the, you know what is my job, right? And that day is going to be a. I am going to be. I'm going to have a lot of work. The the Thursday, 21. I'm not sure if I could stay at uh, at the club. But what 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 I can do in that in that case? Uh, it's no difficulty yet, son. It's no difficulty. It's associated with two topics that I taught you before. Associated with yes. technology. Yes, teacher, but, but I mean that uh, that day I'm going. I have to work a lot of because the Tuesday is the, uh, the el paro. I don't know how to say. Oh, the, yeah. The unemployment, unemployment, the paro. Mm -hmm. The strike. Then, then, teacher, you know what is my work? What is my job? Then I'm not sure if I can time to to stay to to stay at, uh, to the class. But of course, I'm going to try. But but I don't know, baby. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to do. What can what can I do in that case, teacher? If maybe I couldn't uh, uh, make the exam. Yeah, it's twenty points. This exam. Twenty points. Okay. Uh, when I had finished this speaking session, I. I wrote you what to talk about the Epson. However, I sent you last night uh, on your email 
the activity guides and rubric. Right? Well, Hello. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Now okay, I thank you. <laughs> Hello, now, Ari. how are you? Hello? Uh, Jonathan is expressing hello for his classmate here. Hello, Jonathan. Okay. Um, continue with this speaking session. Jonathan, could you uh, describe the picture post on the right side? Sorry, on the left side below. Below? Yeah. Is the picture post on the cornet on the left side? On the left side. Uh, okay. Uh, well, the picture shows something like a, uh, well, uh, like a, an uh, interview that has finished um, as a, the, the ball interview and the new employee uh, agreed with some kind of um, contract or for the job that they are going to get, I guess. What do you think about the picture on the center of the slide? Well, it's like an advertisement. Uh, advertisement. Uh, basically, uh, if uh, and there are some kind of company that are needing people from some kind of job, it's like uh, the offers that you can see through, for example, Computrabajo or Elempleo.com, uh, among others. Okay. Yes. Thank you. This is the main objectives for this speaking session. And the first one is to describe image associated with job, to teach uh, elements of employment and job interview expression, to identify five tips for breaking out and um, set the job offer, and to talk about job. In this, uh, slide uh, on this slide, you can see seven elements of employment, right? Uh, Angie, what do you think about the elements of employment number one and number two? I have a problem with the slides, I can't see them. Yeah, I can now. <laughs> can you repeat the answer, please? Yes. Um, you can see seven elements of employment. Yes. And do you need to mention me or describe or give me your opinion? Uh, uh, what do you think means uh, the first? The first element? Hello. Hello, teacher. I can't hear you. Mm. Hello. Okay. This element is associated. <clears throat> what does it mean? The first? Yes. yes. Duties and responsibilities yes. means or kind of job that you have to do in mm -hmm. your in you in the place that you work. Uh, but I don't know what is duties. Is quehaceres, uh, tareas. Okay. Well, you have well when when somebody. Um, how do you I, I think when you have a new job, uh, your boss in the agreement uh, is explained what are your duties and your responsibilities, what, is, what you have to do in your job. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. Okay. The second. Job applicant. Mm -hmm. Well, that depends of what is your profession, I think. Mm -hmm. um, your abilities, your studies. Um, depending of that, you can apply or not in a job. Uh, when someone says you have to play applicant, is associated with the person who is looking for a new job? I think it's about the curriculum. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. however, it's, it's more associated with the person that is response or the person wants to get a new applicant for a new job. But it's associated with that or when you mention me, but oh. applicant okay. is 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 the person that oh. is applicant for this people. Okay, thank you, Wanji. Jonathan, what do you think about the the number three and number four? Number three, well, well, basically, is bonus is the additional money that you will earn according with the, well, with the, for example, for the effort that you make in your job or something extra uh, for the things that you can receive. Uh, for example, if you, if you sell something or maybe if you, achieve all the all the requirements that the company needs or something something like that resume uh, but is the same as the cv the curriculum uh here you have to uh, put all the your basic information you provide your background your um yes uh, your your skills uh, yes, the thing that you have to mention uh, and when you are taking an interview. Okay. Uh, could you repeat me again the three one because something on my internet connection wasn't working very well. You mentioned me about the bonus. However, I can oh. understand. No worries, teacher. I can repeat it again. Uh, well, the bonus is like uh, the additional money that you can receive according to the things that you make. For example, if you sell something, you will receive like a bonus for the for the things that you sell. Uh, on the other hand, there is a bonus also for the um, for the for achieve for achieving the things. Uh, for example, the requirements of the company like uh, the results or something like that in order to highlight the things that you usually do so it's something extra that you can earn uh, according for the things that you make okay okay thank you luis tell me about the number six and number seven what do you did uh, what do you think sorry um means the number six this is element okay the number six uh, the number six is when you are working in an any world any company and in and, and i don't know maybe you make something wrong and the director of the other boss uh fired in the case is uh, ending with your job with your contract and ending, yes, is the word. Ending with yeah. your contract. And in that Finish. case, you are fired. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes, I understand. 
when instead of using ending is is better using finished okay. when finished or you can say when a person loves your job or some mistakes or maybe the person loves the job because the company needs to reduce the personal person yes the job yes, person you are fired mm -hmm. yeah what is the seven the seven promotion promotion is in is the opposite maybe the opposite to first is when you have when you make a very good work very good job uh, you are the better, maybe you are the better in your job, I don't know, maybe, and the, your boss uh, make a promotion, a promotion you, yes, uh, give you a, 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 what is the word, uh, maybe a, I don't remember, promotion. Not to change for it, I don't remember the word in Spanish neither. Uh, promotion is uh, ascender when you are a. Uh... Okay, for someone, something, minutes, I couldn't hear you. Yeah, uh, promotion is ascender. Yeah, promotion, is... yes. It's when a person uh, has been working in, in an area and based on his or her skills or competence of the job, the bats uh, change the position uh, in the same company. This means yeah, the uh, positions. Yeah, is is when a person changes the position on the same company. Uh, it means the person. Uh, we work in a new area different that he or she has been working. Mm -hmm. Yeah, is in other words, in Spanish is ascender. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now you can see here. Uh, some expressions or job interview expressions, right? And you can see uh, four expressions and three pictures both on the right side. And about the, the information of the expressions. Uh, Jonathan, what do you think means the expression A? The expression A. Uh, well, the first one, well, well uh, it says uh, I have experience using or many and checking the if the word is correct. Mm -hmm. yeah. I have. Well, I I think I I know sh really short teacher maybe is managing. I think that is an vowel missing because uh, I think that is I have Spanish managing, but I'm not really sure because that word yeah. does doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's managing, sorry. <laughs> I forgot to try the word. The vowel. <laughs> no, no worries, teacher. But basically, is that um, uh, I have experience of uh, using or uh, I have experience managing is uh, uh, relating, but it's related to the background that the people have. So, it, which means the previous jobs uh, tasks that we have. Okay. okay. Uh, Luis, what do you think about the, the expression B? 
the expression B uh, meet deadlines. Uh, uh, it's going to uh, when a person yeah, it's when a person uh, have the ability or have the 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 competence they have the habit to to give the things on time. The to be a lot of a uh, correct with the time. Uh, give the word or give the the yes, the words uh, in the time when when the people need or when uh, you choose to 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 send the the exercise or something meet the lines uh, like uh, ser puntual or something like that yes mm -hmm. yes right Andy what do you think about the C the C expression Solve problems. Mm -hmm. It's really normal to have problems in the job, but uh, solve problems if have the ability to find a solution to uh, situations that can present in in the place that where you job where you jo work mm -hmm. okay yes right uh what do you think about the last one the d you know ah sorry yes uh you said yes yes okay uh now how to deal with customer is basically uh, uh, have a good communication skills to uh tolerate the um, the stress or the behavior of the customer it's like i have like a good uh, well in my job is called like a soft skills um is they have a empath empathy with the customer to to know how he's uh, feeling or something like that is to have a good uh, skill for communication skills. Yes. Um, based on this uh, expression, D, what do you think, Jonathan, is which, which is image or which pictures? You can see three pictures, right? On the right side yes and uh, which feature uh, do you think is associated with the d expression or phrase uh, i think that it could be the first picture that is in on the top Maybe yeah. the, is, uh, the person, the man is uh, dealing with the the customers that are the women. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, Jonathan. Uh, Angie. Mm -hmm. Jonathan, yes. would you say something? Sorry, teacher. Uh, do you want to say something? Do you want no. to say something? No, no, sure. Okay. Uh, Angie, about the C, the C phrase or the C expression, uh, what do you think the expression of with which image post on the right side? Is associated with the inspiration. I think the the last image is associated with with solve problems. They have um think I don't know figures that they are thinking. For example, he have the problem <laughs> and she have the solution in the picture.
Hello, teacher. Could you repeat me again? Angie, sorry, but it's my internet connection. I could hear you only that you say me that the last picture. Yes, the last picture is it's according to the to solve problems. Okay. Uh, in the picture, the man is is explaining the problem. And um, the woman is you know, having, I don't know, a, a solution. Okay. Okay, thank you. Yeah, in order to solve the problem. This is the piece. The piece needs the man in order to solve the problem. <laughs> it's something that um, discretion maybe we they solve problems, the picture. Okay, Angie. Thank you. Uh, Luis, what what do you think the B um, expression phrase is associated with which uh, picture or which image? Yes, it's your, uh, the the B expression is according to the second pictures. There is a clock, and there is a a, a list of the I don't know a list of the job of the work maybe, and maybe to be on time with each work. Okay. Meet the clients. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. And now you can see five tips. The person maybe keep in mind for baking out of an accept job offer. Um, you can see the first, the second, third, fourth, and five. Uh, Luis, what do you think about the first, the first tips? Okay, the first one said be sure. Once you one of uh, once you back out of the offer, uh, you won't be able to change your mind. Be sure. Uh, I think that be sure is maybe when you have the the security about yourself about uh, in the interview. Uh, you are you are sure about your uh, your skill your 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 knowledge and, and everything. Be sure it's very important to to in a, to in an in an interview is very important to be sure when you are when you are going to explain all your abilities, all of your your skill and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. However, in this situation, be sure is associated when you need to change your job, right? And this, this is associated with a person wants to leave the old job and to get a new job. And however, the person has not in problems on the company, maybe. Or maybe the person needs to, to change the job because he or she doesn't feel very well, right? And this, this is associated uh, when a person needs to leave or needs to change the old job for a new job, right? The first say picture uh, below, uh, you can see one to back out want to back out of the offer you won't be able to change your mind it means you need to to be sure that you wants to leave or you wants to change the job 
right? This is associated with that. In, in this situation, in this example, be sure means uh, you need to think first very well if you want to change your job or not, right? You need to be uh, sure before a uh, kid mm, or the seat to take a decision. Yeah. What is the second? Uh, Jonathan. The second. The second okay, the second one is now you rise. Uh, well, basically, is the um, how to say that uh, the thing the thing that you have access to make uh, basically is uh, when you are uh, finding or yeah when you are finding out a job is the thing that you have uh, like well it the then company's obligation to provide you. Uh, something like like uh, the uh, well, I don't know how to say that in in English. Like, las prestaciones, um, maybe Paris. the condition, the what? Is salary? Um... Yes, yes, basically that the the, the salaries, the um, kind of the of well, the type of, of the contract or the agreement is undefined or is defined. Uh, well, to have, um, oh, oh my god, I don't know how to say that. Uh, like, prestaciones de salud y pension are um, those kind of benefits, yes, mostly Benef is the, the benefit that you can receive. So, when you are having a uh, when you are finding out a, a job, you are, uh, in uh, well, the company has an obligation with you. To explain those those kind of benefits because that's mandatory. Okay. Thank you. Yes, it's benefit. Benefits include salaries, um, service, prestation, um, benefits for your job. Yeah, bonds. It's and so on. <laughs> so, uh, yes, yeah, yeah, you're right. Um, thank you, Jonathan. Angie, what do you think about the tier one? Don't tier. lie. Mm -hmm. Have the conversation as soon as you decide. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes we are not sure that if we want the new or the old job but is, is, is when, when is when you want to is when you want to leave your a uh, current job it means when you want to change the current yes. job. Mm -hmm. I understand you. And you need to uh, on mention that one. your butts, to your butts, butts. You need yes, to... You have to have the conversation with the boss as soon as possible. Yeah. Don't, don't wait. Mm -hmm. It means yeah. as soon as you have desired, desired that uh, you want to change your, your job, job. Yes. yeah, or you want to leave the company <laughs> for something, you need to to take a conversation or have the conversation with the box of the company. Mm -hmm. Okay. And after uh, doing the the, the the step because you can see the tips number three uh, Luis what do you think is the four um, tips of the four step 
in order to to explain or mention the situation to your boss, for example. Okay, if the chair have a logical reason, um, which of course maybe when you're going to back out of the company, uh, you have to 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 explain explain why do you want to, to leave, why do you want to, you have to have a good explain, explanation uh, mm -hmm. because uh, that reason maybe is going to be to, to your uh, curriculum, then you have to, to, to leave to your job uh, good, with a good reference or good, uh, good uh, reputation, reputations. Uh, mm -hmm. In that case, in the with, with your job, thanks. Half logical reason is maybe is, uh, yes, you have a good a uh, good explanation. Uh, why do you want to leave? Why do you want? Why will you want a uh, back out of your job? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, Luis. And the last one, Jonathan. What do you think? The last one. Be respectful. Be respectful. Uh, uh -huh, yeah, be respectful, but um, well, uh, accepting the job offer, but well, uh, it's like uh, keep the uh, keep respect for the for the companies condition I guess um, I think that um, if you are needing a job you don't have to shout out to someone that for example if, I, if you want to work in McDonald's and uh, you don't have to use the social networks or something like that to say well I work in McDonald's in McDonald's is a bad job because there are people that uh, Punish um, that punish you or what? <laughs> so something like that is like um, keep a a recept, um a status or a statement with the things that you make in your job. I mean, maybe. Okay. And based on this explanation written below, uh, it says call call the hiring manager to explain. Which explain that you you want to the job, you want to change, right? But you need to to do a, this information, or you need to explain this information uh, using tests or social media. Or what do you think about this? It's um. Well, you mean that explain about what? When you when you want to explain to your job, to your manager or hiring manager, for example, or your boss, you need to explain that you need to leave the job or you need to change your job. And what do you think? It's right that you explain this situation using test or on social media according to this example that you say what is the advice you can see be respectful below you can read mm -hmm. an information yeah what do you think about this information the person needs you... Oh, okay, yes, yes, I got it, sorry. I, I was um, thinking a, another thing, but, but well, I'm going to start again. Uh, well, um, if you want to say something, yes, as you said before, if you want to mention something important uh, uh, to, to your bots is, well, nowadays you can we can use the social network, um, but basically when you are getting a new job, is basically to call them, to call him, to call her, uh, in order to explain something. Yes, uh, whatever situation that you consider as important, 
uh, yes, it's like can, um, it's not polite to use social networks or send um, messages at the beginning. Maybe in the meantime, when you are working, you can use uh, social network network. Meanwhile, you get like a trust with the with you with your boss. But at the beginning, at the beginning, it's important to use the the calls to communicate to sorry to communicate with them. However, when you want to finish uh, your job, uh, it's good idea that you explain your reasons only text or social media. Well, I think that nor uh, ne neither text nor okay. social media and uh, nor call them. I think that you have to have like a face-to-face -face con communication uh, to mention that you want to fire. I think that no one of them are valid. I think that if you want to to quit for the company that you are working on, it's basically to have a face-to-face -face conversation and said, well, I don't want to work anymore. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Jonathan, okay. Uh, you can see in this slide uh, some uh, image dealing with elements employment, right? And Angie, what do you think is the elements dealing with the picture uh, pause on the top of the left side? <laughs> Uh, this picture is associated with which uh, elements? But the Do elements you... that are in the middle of others. No, uh, about the the picture pose on the top of the left in the corner and the right side the corner of the left side sorry on the top yes but that elements are the same that are written in the picture in the middle or are different elements no it's only it's only what do you think uh, is the element associated with the first picture Elements means organize or duties and responsibility. What do you think is the, the picture daily with duties and responsibility? Uh, take notes, receive calls and message. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like it's a me. secretary or receptionist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it means the picture uh, is associated with duties and responsibilities, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, Luis, what do you think about the picture? Um, the picture post on the center of this slide. This uh, picture is associated with with teamwork or job requirements. Uh, maybe this the next picture is according to the uh, job requ job requirements. Job mm -hmm. requirements. Uh, maybe he's give a. A curriculum his he in curriculum then mm -hmm. maybe he needs he needs a work a job then job requirements yeah uh, could you describe what types of job requirements uh, are written on this picture on the picture uh, not sure. I'm sorry I don't, I don't understand uh, can you explain what uh, could you tell me uh, what types of 
uh, your requirements, uh, could you see on this picture? He said, education. Mm. Could you read? Could you read the, the information of the words? Not to say, but you are talking about the, the picture on the left or, or right pictures? Because I'm talking about the picture uh, when there is the man give a curriculum. No, no. Yeah. I, I mentioned, I, I asked you about the picture post on the center. On the center of okay, this slide. The mm -hmm. uh, what okay. do you think is... is uh, this picture post on the center is associated with teamwork or job requirements? This is my question. Teams, teams work? Teamwork or job requirements? Uh, which, which one is associated with the picture of the center? Which elements? Uh, maybe uh, I think that, uh, uh, yes. Uh, job requirement because mm -hmm. uh, in that case we can see that the uh, i don't know maybe a company is looking for a, a people a person a person uh, who have education some skills experience then uh, they are looking for a, a person with that ability or with that or with that uh, uh, yes abilities okay uh, according to the same picture, uh, could you read which your requirements are uh, written on this picture? Okay, yes. Looking for uh, people with experience, with mm -hmm. skills, of course, with education, uh, motivations, and personality. Okay, right. Mm -hmm. Um. Jonathan, could you say me about the, the this? I'm going to mention two options, and you need to choose one. And tell me which is the right picture. Uh, the picture number. No. I'm going to mention two options, and you need to to uh, tell me which is the image associated with this ocean. In okay. Bonus and the other is promotion. Which a uh, picture is associated with promotion. Oh, uh, well, with promotion, uh, you can refer to the to the right to the top right the picture that is located in the top right that it shows like a row in an increasing way. Yes, like uh, the woman. Yes. Yeah. That could be for a, a raise or for getting a promotion and bonus. I think that it could be the, the picture that is, uh, uh, well, below. The, the man that has some bills in his hands. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, okay. What do you think about the face of the man? He's... <laughs> Uh, well, basically, it's an ambitious man uh, <laughs> because he has received a lot of money, or maybe he has hungry. <laughs> he, he wants to buy a hamburger, uh, or maybe no. Yes, maybe it's ca counting money because. I have noticed that some people make some kind of it, it, um, expressions in their face in order to content money. <laughs> I have seen that. <laughs> okay, yes. Okay, thank you. You're um, welcome. Angie, <coughs> sorry. 
Uh, I'm going to mention two options and you need to say me. Oh, first one, option, only option. One option is your applicant. Your applicant. Which picture is associated with your applicant? <clears throat> Job applicant is, I think, the picture where the man is showing her, his, sorry, mm -hmm. his, his curriculum. Okay. Uh, the curriculum, it has something. What do you think has the curriculum that the man is Showing us. It's a picture, a photograph, and information too about his, his experience, uh, his education. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Luis, what do you think about this one? Is resume. Which is the picture about reason? Well, reason? Reason. Or curriculum. curriculum. Okay, the picture um, uh, um, in, in the right, in the second in the right. Uh, mm -hmm. It's associated with that. In Spanish, what does it mean? The curriculum. Hmm? La hoja de vida. Yes. In other words, eh, hoja de vida means as some English speaker eh, use all other word, another word, in order to express hoja de vida. Eh, the first one is curriculum and the second one is resume. Yeah. Is R E S U M E. Is in I'm going to write. So it means hoja de vida. So English speaker use this uh, word in order to explain or express to read. Okay, reason. It's like a, an introduction. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Now you can see here an example dialogue, right? Dialogue. But in this in this um example, uh, these examples. Um, In this opportunity, eh, Luis and I think, yes, Luis and I, eh, we practice this eh, dialogue, and then Jonathan and Angie practice other dialogue, right? Eh, my role is the A, right? My role is the A. And the B is the role chosen by Luis, right? Please, okay, you, need to read, you, read, you need to read uh, before talking the dialogue. Uh, you roll one, two, three, four, and five opportunities. You need to to mention the role B, right? You right. need to read each one in your mind. When you have finished that, you you tell me, teacher, I finished my my read, and then um I will start the dialogue. And you need to answer me. Okay, teacher.
Okay, teacher, I'm ready. Okay. Uh, good afternoon. In this case, it's good evening, right? Okay. <laughs> Thank you for the opportunity to interview for this position. Hello, Fafet. I'm Bill Gocha. I'm assuming you found your way here with no trouble. Actually, I am very familiar with the area, so there was absolutely no problem. I'm curious as to why you want to leave your current employer. I am interested in switching fields. Do you feel that you are exceptionally good at an, anything in particular? Yes, of course. I could at pulling together teams of people to accomplish a task. What are you what are you not good at? I am impatient with myself at times and I am hurt of myself. We appreciate hearing that you that that about you. Okay, thank you. And now I'm going to let me check. <laughs> I'm going to sh to stop for some some seconds my screen in order to to show you the other dialogue. <clears throat> the other dialogue. DJ Erica is connected. How long have uh, Erica connected? She only, just on it. Only uh, just right now. Hello, Erica. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm sorry. I was I was out of home. How are you? Okay, I'm good. Thank you. Uh, just right now. Just right now. Um, you will. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Her an example of dialogue between Luis and America, I think, or, or Angie, right? What do you think? Would you like to participate just right now, Erica, in the dialogue? Okay, teacher, yes. Okay, I'm going to show you my screen here. Let, let me know when you can see my screen. This is a dialogue. Yes. Um, an example okay. of interview, right? <clears throat> Erica is Jory, right? And the examiner of the interview is Jonathan, right? Jonathan. Okay. Um, let's begin, Jonathan, with the interview. With the interview. So I. You, you wrote I, the equation, only the equation, for example. The equation, yes. Yeah. Okay. So, no. your name and your answer. Okay, uh, let's start. So, what's your name? Yuri Kipni. Uh, what's your job title? What's your, your title? I'm Hello? a hairstylist and makeup. Um, I am a hairstylist and makeup artist. Okay, uh, how long have you been working in this job? For about eight years. Oh, that's great. Uh, what experience did you have before that helped you? That helps you in this job? Probably just experience with people. I like people, and I've always done people's makeup and stuff. So. What training or education did you have that helps in this job? 
Well, I went to a beauty school and then I've been assisting in a salon. So I was someone's assistant and then learned from the from then until I was confident to go out my own. Oh yes, I see. How long is beauty school? If you do it full time, it's about eleven months, give or take a few days here and there. And then after that, how long did it take you just to feel confident to go out on your own? About three months. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, continue okay. the number five. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, I can, okay. What classes or training do you would suggest for someone interested in this job? Well, they have to go to beauty school and then it's, all, it's always encouraged to continue education. To keep going to classes and learning different things. Learning new things, yeah, because you never finish learning. Oh, yes, I said. Uh, what kind of person would, would you, well, sorry, what kind of person would be good for this job? You need to reach on by yourself, Erica. You need to create the answer. Okay, what kind of person would be good for this job? Well, I believe it's the person that likes uh, to work with people, that loves their job, and sometimes you have to be creative. Okay, that's great. Thank you so much for your time. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. Thank you. And uh, just right now, I'm going to show you, let me check here. Stop for two minutes. Um, I'm going to ask some questions uh, for Erica, then for Angie, then for Jonathan, and then for Luis, okay? And these questions is uh, daily with your job, yeah? And the first question is for Erica. Uh, where do you work and what is your current position? Okay, I'm a, I'm a credit, um, credit and collection analyst. I work for a United States company. Uh, we have a global shared service in Medellin, Colombia. So, well, uh, I have to call uh, all the customers during the day. Um, also, I receive from uh, I receive phone calls from them. Um, just the one that asks for payment. You know, I'm the the bad guy. <laughs> okay. Um. Do you have to work overtime? Well, sometimes when it's the, the end of the quarter or we have to, you know, uh, we have to, uh, we have some goals, with the numbers, with the cash every day. So, yes, yeah, sometimes I have, I have to work overtime. Yeah. They pay the overtime, you know, labor, but yeah, it's sometimes very, you know, frustrated, but I have to do it. Okay. Thank you. Uh, how many days a week do you normally have to work? Um, Erica. Just uh, during the week, five days per week, that's it. Okay, thank you. This question is for for I remember <laughs> for Angie. Uh, Angie, do you work? Yes, teacher, I work. 
Okay. Do you like your job? Yes, a lot. Okay, why? I am a kindergarten teacher. I work with, in this year, with five, four and five years old child. And it's really amazing. You can learn every day of them and you can have really grateful uh, time with them. They are so lovely. So I really like, I really love my job. Uh, how many days a week do you normally have to work? I work Monday to Friday. Okay. Um, when you were a child, what job do you want to have? when you were older? When I was a child, I wanted to be a, a vet, veterinarian. Yeah. <laughs> but I didn't know. Right, then, you know. Then when I graduated from high school, mm -hmm. I didn't know what, what, what to study. And I just start at I don't know how you say formación complementaria at normal school here in Barranca Bermeja. And then I continue that pedagogy. And well, here I am. Yes. Okay. What do you think what we uh, what would be your dream job? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to change my job. Mm -hmm. I just want to change the time I have to <laughs> to get to the job. <laughs> but uh, would you like so much? Yes. <laughs> so much your job is for the reason it's not necessary. No, um, this is dream job because this you is have the job my dreams, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh the question is have you ever been unemployed? <laughs> of course. <laughs> but uh I'm just okay. twenty-four years old. So the time I I was when I was unemployed was just one year when I just finished um, uh, my studies. Um, I had one year unemployed, but now I have been working as a kindergarten teacher for four years. Okay. Before you teaching or before being um, a preschool teacher, uh, did you work in other area, different uh, teaching? Or? No, never. Okay. Okay. How do you feel about your boss? Well, I... I... In, in these four years, I have worked in three different places. And this year, I feel this is the best uh, place where I have been. It, that feels really good. You, you can you can do what you love without a person that is always looking you and 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 making questions and i don't know they make you your place and your time 
-hmm. Okay. Uh, give me one minute, please. Give me one minute. One minute. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Angie? Yeah. Okay. Okay, thank you, Angie. Um, I'm going to ask the question for Luis. Right? Um, Teacher. The first question is, uh, where do you work? And what is your current position? Okay, teacher, I work like a policeman. Uh, I'm a police. I, I work like a patrolman. Uh, patrolman in the police. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, do you have to work overtime? Yes, I have to work. I work uh, from 7 a.m. until 7 p.m., but sometimes I have to work at night. Uh, since I have to work all the time, I have to be, uh, I don't know how to say, disponible. Available. Available, yeah, I have, I have to be available all the time. In, in whatever moment I have to to work or have to work, uh, just the morning, just the afternoon, or of the night, it's, it's relative. Okay. And uh, do you like your job? Yes, actually, yes, I like it. Because uh, right now I'm working in the admin administrative uh, part of the police, uh, but sometimes I have to leave to to work on the street. But uh, the, my principal job, my principal work, is in the office. Things I I I like, which I do. Uh, but of course I like uh, when I have to work in the street because. Uh, that's different. I have I have uh, different roles in the police. Sometimes I am in, I am administrative. Sometimes I have to be maybe a, a, I don't know maybe a stronger uh, when I have to work on the street uh, to interact with the people with the uh, with every kind of people. Tends that is interesting. I like my job. Okay. Uh... How important is promotion to you in your job? Yeah, of course, it's important for me, of course. Uh, but uh, in the police, we have a pro we, we get a promotion with the time. Yes. Uh, right now, right now, I'm a patrolman. Uh, I have to to wait one year uh, to get a promotion, but. It's relative because I, I have to make a, an exam, an evaluation, and if I pass the evaluation, I get a promotion. If not, I have to wait to the next year, and, and that is the the a bit problem in the police because I don't I don't go into I don't uh, get a promotion uh, easier. Uh, maybe I have I can't uh, start. I can make a uh, another uh, yeah another uh, uh, is, um, maybe I can start. I can make uh, another career, another uh, to get new knowledge. But but I I have to wait to the time. I have to wait uh, at least eight eight years. To, to get a promotion. I have given seven years working and the next year I'm going to start to 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 apply uh, to the to the prom to the promotion. How long have you been uh, working? Uh, seven years. Seven years teacher I have I have long working uh, from until seven years. 
seventh year long working. Okay. Thank you, Luis. Okay. Uh, that right now, I I'm gonna ask some question by Jonathan, right? Uh, Jonathan, have you ever been employment unemployed? Uh, Jonathan, do you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, have you ever been unemployed? Yes, teacher, several times. <laughs> how long for? Tell me. How, how long for have you uh, been employed? employed? The, the longer time that I have uh, unemployed was three months. Three months? Three months. Three months. Okay. Understand. When you were a child, what job uh, do you want to have when you were older? Sorry, teacher. When you were a child, what job do you want to have when you were older? Uh, well, I want, when I was a child, I wanted to be like a, uh, well, uh, astronomist. Why? I'm really sure that it, uh, because I like it, everything really, oh, I love it. Everything, I love everything related to the stars, the universe, the galaxy, and those kind of stuff. Uh, what's your, your job? My job, uh, basically I work in a contact center and I have to report um, some kind of uh, uh, status for the, for the company that I work. Okay. Yes, it's basically basically to show them the results, to make analysis, uh, analysis to make a uh, uh, well to uh, to deliver or uh, to send a report and show them if we are in green or we have to work in several uh, uh, well in several tasks or whatever. But the idea is to show how um, our customer satisfa satisfaction is uh, affecting us. Okay. Uh, this is the last question. Yeah, this is the final question. Is, um, have you ever, have you ever filed a job interview? A lot of times. <laughs> A lot of times. Okay. Uh, for that reason, for these students, just right now, no matter if you don't have um, file a job interview, I'm going to share a video when I have finished this um, speaking session, right? In order to watch the video, um, from your laptop or from your computer. Let me show here, and I'm going to share the link. It's a video in, okay. in English and something in Spanish, but you can see different states uh, in order to know what expression, uh, you need to keep in mind when you uh, need to, to do an interview or a new job or some job. This is very interesting video, right? Mm, I'm going to share my screen. Okay, teacher, thank you. This is the uh, the reference uh, associated with this speaking session. 
before I was asking you some question about your job. And just right now, I, I would like to say you thank you very much for your attention, for being here in this um, in this speaking session, right? I would like to know if you if you can hear me or no. <laughs> yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. This is the reference, right? And this is conversation or an employment that I asked you about the job. And I would like that you you watch in the video, right? It's interesting. However, um, I think I need to finish this uh, speaking session. Uh, for time, it's one hour, 20, 15 minutes, right? Uh, someone have some question? For this speaking session or no? Do you have any question or no? No, teacher. No, teacher. No, teacher. Any question? Thank you. Uh, any question so far? Very good topic okay. and very good new vocabulary for us. Thank you. I going to stop the recording for this speaking session. And I would like to know if you had checked your email, the last name I sent you an email with one activity guide and rubric in English. Because then the next Tuesday is the final exam. About the speaking is associated with two topics that I told you before. Technology and relationship. Yes, Erica, could you uh, did you read the activity guides and rubric? Yes, I did. Okay. Uh, Jonathan. Yes, teacher. Uh, do you read the activity guide and rubric? Yes, I did. Okay. And Luis? Yes, teacher, I, I read. Thank you. But teacher, what, what are you going to take that uh, final test? Is 10 minutes per student. However, it's 10 minutes for a student. However, um, this speaking Epson uh, is um, due at the end of the next speaking session. Before doing the speaking Epson, uh, you need to watch the video. Each students need to watch the video. Okay, the the link is post on the activity guide. And it's one hour, one hour thirty minutes. However, the the speaking exam is. 20 minutes, I think, depending on the students. If the next Tuesday are the same students that is coming tonight, is 20 minutes, or if no, is 10 minutes per student, right? Do you understand me? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Mm, sí, está así en español. <ríe> Esto, sí, yo les decía que pues ya leyeron las actividades y la rúbrica. Entonces, 
si tienen de pronto alguna pregunta o algo, o si todo está claro con respecto a lo que se va a hacer este, este jueves, pues me lo hacen saber, ¿vale? Eh, Pueden ver el, el, el video antes del examen, ideal, o si lo quieren ver 15 minutos antes del examen, pues también lo pueden hacer. ¿Vale? Es, un, es, un, es un video que dura 15 minutos, algo así, 15 o 14 minutos. Y es sobre algo pues, muy interesante que ya nosotros hemos estado usando. Eh, es asociado con los emojis y otras cosas ahí de tecnología. Entonces, eh, el objetivo es asociar ese tema que ya se vio de tecnología con algo nuevo de tecnología y, y cómo está asociado con otro tema que es de relationship. Eh, ¿Cómo afecta eso? No? Entonces... Sí, no nos asusta ni nada por eso, <ríe> por el examen. Esto, ese examen va a valer 20 puntos. Es decir que si el total de los encuentros son 80 puntos, entonces por ese examen va a tener un valor de 20 puntos. Sí, es importante que asistan el jueves. Lo otro que también le quiero decir es con respecto a los testimonios, que pues todavía tienen tiempo para que lo, lo redacten en inglés o si como sea que lo pueden hacer escrito y luego yo le envío eso a los English speakers para que ellos puedan grabar el mismo testimonio de ustedes en inglés y ustedes puedan escucharlo y luego si ustedes graban un corto video y y me lo envían y yo pues luego lo subo al, al sitio web que estoy haciendo y finalmente yo les comparto el link del sitio web, ustedes lo pueden revisar, ahí va a estar recopilado los encuentros que hemos tenido, los testimonios de ustedes que, que se realicen y, y las personas que contribuyeron a, a la pronunciación de cada uno de sus testimonios. Entonces, y por eso pues ahí pueden tener así esta semana, porque pues yo ya les dije a tres personas, a tres English speaker y pues ellos están esperando y la verdad pues no me gustaría como de pronto decirles a ellos que ya no, ¿sí? Entonces pues yo pienso que es una buena oportunidad para ustedes también. Bueno, entonces, y pues no siento más. ¿El jueves a qué hora? El jueves a las siete y media. Okay. ¿Sí pueden en esa, en esa hora? Pienso que sí pueden todos en esa hora. ¿O qué me dicen? Sí. Ok. Bueno, entonces, pues muchas gracias y que tengan una buena noche. Gracias, teacher, igualmente. Thank you gracias. so much, teacher. See you soon. See you later. Okay.